Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will share my top 5 best and worst luxury purchases. I've been getting asked to make this video for some times now, so I gather things around to make five. It may be more than five actually, but let me go through the best purchases as that's positive. So let's go with positive vibe in this video. First thing, I must mention my Tiffany & Co. by the yard, Elsa, is that right? Elsa by the yard. I always don't remember exact name for it, but this little tiny diamond, and you can choose different size of the diamond and the color of the necklace. I went with the yellow gold and I made the chain length one inch shorter so it goes right there and i wore this for many years straight since i got it then took over with my newer one the necklace i got from cartier so i've been wearing this one since i got this from my husband and it's pink i've been really into baby pink color so I'm wearing this, but this is so classy and timeless. It looks amazing layering with any necklaces that I'm wearing right now. This is giant and very, very statement, but this type of thing you cannot wear every day. This is fine jewelry, so you can wear it in the shower, no problem. The the diamond doesn't come out of it and this is just so tiny and small but it sparkles and people notice it. This was like 0 0.07 or something like that. Very, very, very tiny. I compared with smaller size one, the bigger size one after this, but I felt really good about this size and the price of course was better. Then. Anyways, this, I never got around to mention this one whenever I get to make this type of video, uh, but this is just the best, best, best uh, purchase and it is timeless. So that necklace I paid off, I feel like I wore it more than the price that it cost, but this, I do not wear it every single time I go outside because I have other watches, but I would if I had only one because you can dress it up or down and it looks just so, so stunning. Every time I look at it, I just go like, <gasps> like that kind of moment. I love it. Just every inch of it. I adore it. So, so beautiful. This, this is the most luxurious piece that I own in my collection looks luxurious and it is most expensive one and it's got the 10 diamond tiny one but it sparkles and has the mother of pearl it's kind of pinky and pearly finish which i absolutely love and i love the two-tone yellow gold with the stainless steel i love the size of it this one i mentioned in my forever peace tag video I'll have the link down below. I just could not not mention in this video. Of course, this has to be the best, best top five. And the third piece I'll mention, uh, also I mentioned in my forever tag video, which was the Chanel classic medium to large, but I don't really get to wear it uh, a lot you know, more than I would like to. I love it, but I tend to wear crossbody handbag more. So I thought I should mention my mini flat right here, especially the red. I just love red. You guys know I love red and red just pops. I love everything. True red color, caviar leather, so practical and silver hardware. Very, very casual. I wear crossbody handbags the most and uh, you know, at the moment, my lifestyle with having two kids, crossbody works the best. Let me say about the super mini, actually I have mentioned one time in one of my videos, um, I love 
my Gucci super mini so 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 much I cannot believe and I could not believe how much I love this after I got this I non-stop seriously wore this uh, I used to wear Chanel mini flap so much so I actually now have many more than one but this took over seriously the color is so neutral it goes absolutely with everything and some people ask still color trends if it happens it does not happen and I wear this without any hesitation or care so much about what I'm wearing but this has been a amazing amazing tiny small crossbody handbag that works so well for my lifestyle it is so tiny as you can see this is smaller than the Chanel mini flap I mean it's even slimmer but I whatever I carry in here all fit in here because I don't like to fill up too much stuff in mini if I don't have to so all that I carry is my phone iPhone 7 plus I have it fits in there and the card holder the flat card holder I always carry around it fit in there and the lipstick I didn't bring but lipstick of course fits in here and my key fob of course I have to have so that goes in right in there so and there is a little more space so I can put two lipsticks uh, in here and it's pretty flexible compared to the Chanel flaps they are a lot more structured so this just I don't know it feels really comfortable on me and the chain is really thin I don't know why but it doesn't really dig in whenever I have it on sometimes I don't even feel much that I have the handbag on me so I love that how comfortable it is how neutral it is especially the color that I have and also it looks so cute I love it yeah so I had to add this handbag even though pretty new I would say to my collection still I just think that this was just amazing and the price of it it is one third of this one this now costs 3300 this one is 890 so so much less than the Chanel but it fits everything that this one will fit for me and yeah smaller and lighter and more comfortable so what can I say even more right uh, with talking about this I have to mention my belt from Gucci same color exact same one with the vintage looking gold hardware I wear this one a ton and of course I have to mention also Gucci Marmont shoe this is uh, with the suede leather surprisingly very durable I wear these so so much and I walk on them so much I get tired very easily from walking a lot and just you know having two kids I have to watch them all the time and yeah anyways if you're a mom with little ones you know what I'm talking about and you need to have really comfortable shoe I want to look still cute and these work so well so well it's got the heel here two and a half or three inches so it still gives the height I love 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 especially <laughs> wearing this together and this together of course by the way if you're interested in any of the items that I share in this video check down below in the description box I'll have the link to the exact same one if they are not available online I will have the detailed information also down below I am a bag lady yeah so i will have to mention more than one or two bags that i already mentioned so for the tote bag this no question about it birkin size 30 35 is too big for me 30 perfect 25 will be great addition too but 30 just not too big not too small it fits everything that i need to have actually bigger than what i normally carry uh for day-to-day -day life so love 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 now, so let me share my top five worst luxury purchases that I made. Sadly, these 
gorgeous Chanel stud earrings are the number one, I would say, because I never get to wear them. They are beautiful, nonetheless, black enamel with gold hardware. It's got really pretty details like lacy, like vintage look, ruffle little details all around the CC beautiful i was very excited to get the whole set of it so i got the brooch with it so they are the perfect set i know some people like to wear their jewelries that are like subtle and don't show much but when i wear my jewelries i like them to somewhat stand out at least lighter color when I got these, I thought they looked so, so gorgeous and classy and black. I thought it would stand out somewhat because I have my hair dyed. But I have a lot of hair and thick hair and it covers up my ears a lot. So, but like what I have right now is from Dior. These are so gorgeous, by the way, and classy. These don't show too much like not like sparkly or giant but somewhat subtle yet you can see them and very elegant and classy but these when i wear they don't even i mean appear i don't know if that makes sense anyways the color doesn't really go well with my liking uh, crystal I ones i love and they sparkle but not like crazy sparkle like i wore them i believe one time when i filmed my video and wore this one on right here i think that was the chanel collection video and i love 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 brooch that's another thing to mention the worst purchase this one it is so beautiful and super sparkly very very nice i do love both of them i think they are absolutely gorgeous and so classy cannot go wrong nothing to do with these something to do with me because i don't really get to wear them um, when i want my accessories to pop i don't know i tend to go with the scarf like um pop of color like Burberry scarf and the pink scarf that I have. I love wearing them, but the brooch, I don't know. I sometimes worry if the crystal will fall like this one or my kids will just, you know, get scratched up from just me wearing it. Something like that. Maybe the lifestyle at the moment doesn't work well. I believe some of you already knew I will mention my Prada sunglasses. These, oh yes they are pretty i love this pink color camille i got these in hawaii and it was like 20 percent off and yeah it was just great i thought to purchase and i thought i would wear them a lot as i like baby pink and you know they don't look that terrible on me so I tried to wear these and wanted to use them. Before I run out the door, I will always switch out to the black one or the dark gray one. I mean brown one. So I don't wear, which means it's the worst purchase that I made. So really sad about it. I can see the dust over it because yeah. So if you've been watching my videos for some time, you guys know how much I love Tiffany jewelries and these are some of them. I still have all the ones that you guys have seen on my channel I don't tend to sell my accessories uh, Anyways, these are them and can you guys see how dirty they became and that's very typical thing for silver uh, jewelries but anyways because they got even more tarnished I don't want to wear them and every time i want to wear i have to kind of uh polish can you guys see how dirty this became but this is the cloth that you can polish because yeah i already have the little bracelet that i wear all the time just i don't get to bother to you know put one on and off but these i've had for some time just set aside and haven't worn so just sad whenever i see them like oh you know 
I used to love. Anyways, I just wanted to mention that I still have them and I still think they are a great, great piece to have. So after having kids, uh, something that won't tarnish or I can wear it all the time even in the shower, that works the best like this necklace and what I have on right here that I never take off like this one and that one still like will stay with my body and I don't have to worry much about it so. okay the shoes these I've been getting asked if these are comfortable or not and this one sadly yes it is in the worst category and these are not worse but i just wanted to compare and share them as they're both from louis vuitton and these are just so gorgeous i love front on the side on the back with that gold pop of color all that i love but these are very very heavy which i knew before i got them but i was like it'll be fine i will wear them i will love them because they're so pretty but no it doesn't work that way right so i don't know what you call it but there is the hidden like this much of the thick heels um yeah and you cannot take them off because i was trying to take these off they are not comfortable to have inside when i was testing them out and walk on these in the store before i purchased i thought they are comfortable and i was excited that they made me look taller wearing sneakers uh but when i actually really wore them and walked around for hours not really comfortable like i said heavy and these just makes my feet just fall out of the shoe maybe i had to go with size down i guess i don't know i went with the true to size seven because of the heels that's hidden right here i'm like showing you guys this is it um you've got like this tiny bit of space for your uh like back of your foot so every time i try to walk faster and my feet will come out it doesn't matter i try to tie a uh, front like tighter and wear the thicker socks doesn't really work so i haven't been really wearing these let me know if you guys have these and have had that kind of issue if you have solution for me to try out i will really love to hear from you guys so this is really sad because yeah i love them and i'm like that's heavy yes so you guys were asking me about these uh these are comfortable i love them and yeah i got the rose gold on the back and i don't think they are too much in your face and i love 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 very very comfortable I believe I went a half size down for these and still have a little bit of room left so I can wear a thick socks but I could have gone a whole size down and I could be happy with them okay so for the handbag this oh I am so sad to say this is the worst purchase I don't think it's the worst purchase just because I don't get to really wear it it is in between medium to large classic flap and the mini flap that you guys saw because it's got the same length or actually a little bit longer length shoulder strap than the medium to large which you can wear it like you know a single shoulder way and you can now wear it uh, crossbody which i like to wear so when i want to go out like special day night or uh events or evening out or something like that i will go with the medium to large and when i need to wear crossbody i will go with the mini so this is like in the middle like between uh so i haven't been really wearing it like true red caviar leather with the gold hardware i was searching 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 and when this was available i was like eee! you know and then it was sold out super quick and one of my essays got to get one and i was so so excited the mini flop and the medium to large don't have the 
four feet on the bottom like this one does so it's special and the top handle just reminds me of the Kelly this is the size mini it is a perfect size it fits more than the classic mini flap so it is practical and looking so cute and you know open up like so i still have the stickers inside it's like push and matisse it's divided the middle section there is the pocket there it is practical handbag and very ladylike and elegant and classy just really so so me uh and it's got the pocket on the back also it is really hard to get handbag from chanel but sadly i should mention it is a worst purchase as i do not really wear and the last one to mention this is my backpack from louis vuitton and i have talked about it and my uh, Louis Vuitton handbag collection video that when I want to wear the backpack I go with the Chanel backpack the all black and also the Gucci so I tend to go with the semi casual not fully casual like this one so when I was getting this I thought I will wear this for travel or going to the park with my kids and so forth I thought I will wear this a lot but yeah not really and i forced myself actually to take this with me to texas uh during thanksgiving i think but of course just traveling going to texas and coming back on the airplane that's all that i carry this with straps. me because this type of shoulder straps are very comfortable and this doesn't really like slide down like some people ask me and it is just so well made i love this thick canvas that louis vuitton used to make and it's beautiful and you cannot get this anymore from louis vuitton's and many pockets in the front too and on the side and it's got the extra pocket right here love everything but just too casual and i don't know if i'll really wear it after my kids grow up because i don't know yeah so i just thought that i should mention this video as a worst purchase as i really don't wear it and that is it and yeah i hope this video was somewhat entertaining and get to know what i think it's the best and what i think it's the worst and yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up as always and i will see you guys very soon bye guys